What's up guys, this is Charlie Ryder from techinform.us and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a video intro using the software Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro 10. Now when we open up Motion 5, we're going to get this window right here, it's the Project Browser. As you can see on the right, there is a little demonstration of what it's going to look like. And you can pick all these all these different um, titles here under Compositions. Uh, you have Atmospheric, de Decode, Pulse, which is probably the one you just saw, or this one, Splash. Um, you have Swarm and Vine. And all these different ones, but I'm going to be using uh, Decode. Give you a little pre uh, demonstration as if you look over on the right hand side. And then there it is. Um, up here you have the preset. It's going to broadcast in HD 720p at a 59.94 frames per second at 20 seconds. Exactly. So when we have that selected, we're just going to go ahead and down here and hit open copy. Now that'll open up Motion 5. This is the uh, title window. Now it's pretty simple if you're if you're used to Final Cut Pro 10 or um, any um, Apple editing software. You have your timeline down here, um, your inspector and file browser over here, and your preview window here. Um, right now we can hit space. That'll play it. And this will show all of the different things coming together. As you can see, it's pretty big, so we're going to go up here and I'm going to scale it down to 25% uh, visibility, but that will not affect the export size of the actual video. That'll just make it so you can see it while in editing. As you can see down here in the timeline, you have all these different objects, um, text elements. I'm just going to go over here because this is where our title and our subtitle will lie. So right here, we have them forming together, and about there. So right right here, uh, there it is. When we go over here to our layers, if you're familiar with Photoshop or anything, um, like this, we can go ahead and go to Text Elements and open that up. Here we have our title and subtitle. We're going to click that and go to a Text Tool, which is that little T down there. And I'm going to make this, say, an Abner Coast Production. Pretty sure I spelled that right. There we go. And for the subtitle, we're going to click this over here and we're going to go to T subtitle. And I'm going to put the website that I am an author for or writer, um, techinform.us. So there, as you can see, I've had the, the um, text laid out, and we can go ahead and go all the way back. And we can play it through, and it will, I don't believe it's playing on real time. You'll have to render through the video, but I'm not really inclined to do that just for this demonstration. As you can see, it'll play all together um, up to the point where you have your uh, text right up here, and you can hit space, and that will play it. Now it'll all come together. This is not real time. As you can see right here, your text is about to come up. I have no idea what that little line is. Apparently I'm still in text edit mode. As you can see, it'll come up, and then here it is. And when you're done, you have everything. You've uh, made it, so you like it. We're going to go up here to share. And we are going to go to export movie right here. As you can see, it'll be in current settings. Where it's going, I'm going to change it to H.264 and um, open with QuickTime. Do nothing. Render has uh, fine, advanced, nothing, and summary. It says it'll be about 56 megabytes. Well, that's not right because there's no way a 20 second movie can be that large. So I'm going to hit next. It'll export it. I'll be back to you guys when I'm done. Alright, so now that the um, video is done exporting, 
we can go ahead and close this. I'm just going to hit don't save. And then here it is somewhere on my desktop right here. So there it is. We can. There are two ways we can do this. So I'm, I'm going to be adding audio. We can do it through Final Cut Pro or iMovie. Now, I'm going to be using iMovie, even though I do have Final Cut Pro. But I feel that iMovie is just a little bit more simple and easier. And plus, I haven't even gotten to know Final Cut Pro very, very well. Excuse me. Yet. So we're going to go to our project library, and I'm going to open up a new project. And it's going to be called Decode Intro. I forgot to capitalize the D. There we go. Widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio. That looks good. Uh, no theme. And then we hit Create. Next we can go, we can go Import the movie found on my desktop. And then it should be right here. Optimize. Um, uh, let's just do default settings. Add to existing event. That looks all good. We're going to import. It should take less than a minute to import. And then we can go through and add our audio using uh, the iLife Jingles effect. All right, so here it is. Um, we can go ahead and just double click it and drag it into our timeline. It is 19 seconds. So here it is. We can go ahead and um, go over here to the right, sort it out by time, and look for something that's 19 seconds. So I'll be back to you guys when I find a uh, text or, excuse me, a song that I like. All right. So I found a um, text I'd like. I'll play it through the song I like. I'll play it through at the end of the video. And I hope this helped anybody who needed to know how to do this. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.